Okay. So, I have been asked to watch Dr. J. Campbell's podcast on the El Sarmos. So, <laughs> I watched like a minute of this and I went, just hold the hell up. We got to do this. Like, yeah. So, let us continue with this brilliance. Name is Doctor for anybody who's in the community. With the Jedi really Knight behind to me, We are getting lots of young kids doing them in our practice, and it is wrecking them. I mean horrible. Some of the worst blood work I have ever... It is wrecking them. I mean horrible. Could you define wrecking and horrible? Because, well... As an ex-drug addict, alcoholic, junkie, retard, um, who has tried every single street drug known to man, that probably wrecked my blood work. I am 39 years old, about to be 40, in the best health of my life, been taking SARMs for <clears throat> eight years now. Horrible. Horrible it must be. But shall we continue? We're seen in 23 years of practicing medicine. 23 years of practicing Kids are assuming they are safe because they are over the counter. Yep. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jay Campbell, and I'm making a quick video here today on... Kids are assuming they're safe because they're over the counter. Do you assume that perhaps kids think that Drugs are safe because they're prescribed by doctors, and they kill 210,000 Americans a year. Pain pills alone killed 71,000 people last year. 71,000. Mr. Campbell, you're wasting your time. But let us continue. Let's see what this means. On SARMs, which are selective androgen receptor modulators. Their SARMs are basically worthless. Now, before somebody comes and attacks me, and of course, less I know there's than what? various people that will and say, that's not true, Jay. I use SARMs, so I gained eight pounds. And, you know, I did By the way, measurements, uh, blah, blah, blah. let us look that's at not the point of why SARMs are see this guy? worthless. Why SARMs are worthless, I will get to. Well, let me just He's first definitely the goal of what I want to be with you. Give a little bit more history. SARMs Whoa. have been around a long time. And theoretically, SARMs are amazing, right? They're supposed to modulate androgen receptors selectively, right? But look, no, SARMs do. were given up by the FDA and Big Pharma. Because... <laughs> hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Um, Mr. Mr. J. Campale, um, you know what else was given up by the FDA? B-17. Cures cancer. You know what else was given up by the FDA? Blood root that gets rid of melanomas. Do you know that they put one of my Amish friends in federal prison for selling blood root to us? They subpoenaed my records to court because he sold it outside of the Amish community. But it's natural. The law states that you cannot sell blood root outside the Amish community without going to prison because it cures melanomas. But let us continue about what the false data administration says is good and says is not good because God knows they are the end all be all of misinformation and bullshit that kills 210,000 Americans a year and they mark it as accidents. If you look up biggest killers in the world, all right, what is the most prevalent killers in the world? You will see that you have cancer, or actually you have heart disease, cancer, diabetes, accidents. Now what are accidents? Is this car wrecks? No, that is drugs used the way they were supposed to that kills people. That is medical mistakes, which they call accidents. 210,000 every year. Are you more likely to die of an anabolic steroid, a SARM, or an accident by your doctor. Statistics say that, how many people died of SARMs? Anybody know? 
None. Oh my God. How did that happen? Let us continue. Cause far more harm than they provide benefit. Now let me quantify this even further. I wrote my first book in 2014. It wasn't published until 2015. That was, of course, the definitive you therapy wrote manual. Book. My next book on therapeutic testosterone was that. the Testosterone Optimization Never. Therapy Bible, which is still the, the Bible, Bible and the source, uh, you know, five years later, four, year, four and a half years later, uh, on Testosterone Optimization Therapy. <laughs> and there is a reason that I did not cover SARMs in either of those two books. Because and, you have no idea what they do. All right. <sighs> When you go to your medical professional and you talk about optimizing your testosterone levels, your general practitioner will tell you to take your testosterone, what, twice a month? That's probably the best way to do that. And if you believe that, you continue down the road with your testosterone bobble, which I'm sure he covers that thoroughly in there. Let's see what he says. And the reason that I did not cover SARMs in those books is because the clinical community knows that when you use them, the side effect profile and the potential far outweighs the benefits of using them. Especially. All right, you dumb shit. You know what else your fucking clini clinical community promotes? A research chemical forced on the entire population of the world that we still, I have more studies done on SARMs than they do on their vaccine. So please, by all means, tell me what are, tell me one disease that our clinical professionals have cured in the last 60 fucking years. One, name one degenerative disease they've cured ever. And you want me to take this as an intellectual um, <laughs> as an intellectual opinion on research chemicals? The reason you don't have SARMs being prescribed is how much need is there in the medical community for increased muscle mass? They don't do that. They are focused on treatment of disease that never cures a disease so they can keep you in treatment and never get you better so that they can optimize their portfolios and make sure that drugs... When's the last time that your doctor prescribed a drug that actually cured you of a degenerative disease being one of the main killers in the world, heart disease, diabetes, cancer. Um, of course, they're the cause of the fourth one. So then you've got respiratory disorders and things of that nature. When have they ever cured a disease where you're wearing out? They don't do that. What SARMs do is they make you stronger. They increase your ability to function. And that's not what our medical profession does. Our medical profession specializes in treatment of symptoms never curing disease or disorder. So I'm sorry that you wasted your fucking life learning about this non-practice of medicine that we call healthcare. But I'm sorry, this is a sick care system that keeps you sick and you, unfortunately, um, studied under them. I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible now. Especially when you compare them to the ultimate lifeblood essential molecule, which is testosterone. They're much more inhibitive. Ultimate they shut blood. down the body's natural production of testosterone far worse than testosterone does. On top of that, <laughs> a lot of the oral ones cause all sorts of side effects ones. to what other ones are uh, lipid panels, to cholesterol levels, to uh, tri... Lipid panels, cholesterol levels. What binds your muscle to your bone? LDL cholesterol. What needs to go up when you start to build muscle? LDL cholesterol. What is it that causes heart disease? Cracked and bleeding arterial walls. 
What does LDL cholesterol do? It tries to save your life. It is the cracked and bleeding arterial wall that causes your heart disease. The acid that builds up around that crack in your arterial wall causes LDL to go in there and try to reconstruct that artery. If you don't have the raw materials to do so, sorry, you get a blockage. That had shit to do with cholesterol, though. You need to read Dr. Mathias Rath's book, Why Animals Don't Get Heart Attacks, What People Do, and how we've been able to prevent heart attacks in every farm animal we have because money. We have yet to do the same thing with humans. Why? Money. If you lower your cholesterol, your brain is 76% cholesterol by weight. Every hormone in your body is made from cholesterol. Why do cholesterol levels go up when you take SARMs? So you can produce proper hormones. So you can bind your muscle to your bone so it does not tear off and cause you a muscle your muscle to tear off and shoot up into your shoulder, which I've seen with people taking cholesterol lowering drugs multiple, multiple, multiple times. Now, this is probably what you want or what the medical profession has taught you to want because you're a dumbass because it makes them more money. Sorry, Mr. Campbell, you lack in basic intelligence when it comes to logical pathways to building muscle and staying healthy. You are a drone of the medical profession. And honestly, it's excruciating to hear you speak, but I will do my best to continue. Glycerolide levels to uh, what is a triglyceride? Down, which is high density <sighs> lipoprotein. What is a triglyceride? A triglyceride is a precursor to inflammation, which is like CRP. Now, if you have high triglycerides, that means there's probably a problem and there's probably inflammation being produced somewhere in your body. That's only an indicator switch. If you're working out real hard, what the hell do you think's about to happen? I mean, look, these drugs were orphaned by the FDA slash Big Pharma for a reason. They were orphaned. Not banned. Orphan. You know what an orphan drug is? It is a drug that they deem there is not a very big need for, so they do not fund. It does not mean that it is bad or that it is harmful. You are spreading misinformation at a degree that's just, well, I don't know. How many people watch this? 708. Uh, I don't know if this really warrants my response, but let us continue until I get so fed up I'm about to puke. The side effect profile was far worse than any of the possible. Where are the studies? Name that study. Show me the double blind control placebo study that shows what you're saying. Benefits that anyone could get, again, from, you know, quote unquote, an anabolic or androgenic effects, right? So... The sad part is, is that, is that you can 10 speak. to 12 to 15 years ago, guys in my industry, you know, dudes, you. you know, who are playing this game from a standpoint of Why performance like enhancement pounds, or bro? longevity or biohacking or whatever, we just let those things go. Nobody was interested in but because Google IQ and Google Doctor and technology is dumbing down the population, these things continue to rear their own. No, sir. You know... What's dumbing down the population is mainstream medicine. What's killing us is the lack of information, not the proliferation of information, but the lack thereof and the censorship that happens when I speak the truth. You know, my friend, the truth does not have to defend itself. It sees no need in stopping the opinions of others because to challenge the truth, there's a benefit to see if it is the truth. When they censor me and they allow you, it speaks volumes, sir. So when you tell a lie, you have to guard and protect that lie at all costs. What did they do? in Nazi Germany whenever Hitler was blasting lies out to everyone. Well, they did book burnings and they 
stop the flow of information. Why would they do that? Because you have to protect bullshit by killing the truth. Because if the truth is ever told, all your bullshit goes out the window and everybody knows you're a liar. And how many times do you have to lie to me to be a liar? Once. Ugly heads and very unscrupulous people continue to sell these again through various underground websites, forums, research chemical companies, basement labs. I mean, look, man, if you're a young guy out there today, okay, and you are competing, you are attempting to be a professional bodybuilder. I really, I would hope that that's the case if you're using super physiologic dosages of anything. And you're using these things, uh, you know, in addition to whatever polypharmacy, you're wasting your time. You're not getting any additional gains. You're not getting two inches on your bicep more because you were taking S4 or you know any of these things. I won't even get into the names. Where's your that. bicep, bro? It's not. Where's your bicep to you? Lying Where's your to yourself. <laughs> Let's look at it. <laughs> if you use testosterone compared to any song, you're going to get a better effect anabolically, skeletal muscle mass gain, dopaminergically. You're going to have enhanced. Milligram to milligram, compare LCD4033 to testosterone and muscle building effect. Compare your clarity of thought with MK2866 any day versus testosterone. Compare your prostate size dopamine signaling uh, energetically. I mean, all of the profound beneficial effects of testosterone, okay, when you're comparing oh, apple bro. to apple, and it's really apple to orange or pear here with SARMs to testosterone. Testosterone is going to do more, it's going to cost less money, and it's going to so cause far less TLT. side effects. Again, when we're talking about therapeutic right. dosages. I see so many young people Truly hundreds of How people many? in the clinical, you know, Man, you got community, and I'm getting videos. a lot of feedback from a lot of these guys and gals. You got 27,000 subscribers? What kind of They're seeing jackass paid for that and you only get 700 in their views. 20s and early 30s coming in that is so bad. In fact, I'm going to read a message that I got read from a message. doctor who will go unnamed, who's very famous. An doctor unnamed doctor because the they always have the He literally said to me, Great video yesterday, bro, on Great testosterone. Uh, okay, so so let me get my product and smoke it so we can talk about this storm situation, situation that takes away from my bottom line because, line because I'm a fucking doctor and goddamn these them. bastards, these people are not using me some anymore. Some of the worst blood work I have ever seen in 23 years of practicing medicine. Kids are assuming they are sick because they are over We do what you say, we die early. And again, guys, like I said, Songs were a thing of the past a decade ago. What is this dead ass shit? I didn't even Take cover that them in the TOT Bible and the TRT manual. Take they are absolutely worthless. I don't care, you know, if you think this and it gives you more anabolism Sounds or, you know, like when I stack it with this, me. I get this. If you just use testosterone in a therapeutic dosage, okay, and again, I don't care your age. And I'm, I'm honestly, I just did a video on kids under 25 using therapeutic testosterone. I don't see it as, a, as you know, as a viable outcome or scenario until you've exhausted all options and a you've you know, been uh, clinically And you're diagnosed. going to be a bodybuilder, but right? There's no You're going to reach competitive levels using therapeutic doses. You know, and again, if you're a professional you're bodybuilder or you're a competitive strength athlete or something like that, you know, this is not applying to you because I know you're going to use polypharmacy and you're going to use oxandrolone. And and you got how far is this before you said that? So, you know, it's your life, your Six choice. minutes and 20 seconds before you said that? testosterone, there is no comparison. Okay, again, SARMs, far more inhibitive far more side effect profile causing therapeutic testosterone when dosed correctly and you wrote a book the on testosterone of, of course you're protecting your interest right goal, working with a physician the kind of like the kinds of which that i work with and recommend to my my what kind uh, inner circle and followers and testosterone promoters. there's no comparison <gasps> I mean, like i said you just heard that because the doctor can't unlimited. sell it These you won't promote it biomarker profiles destroying them. 
So you destroyed your credibility. Here is, That's all you. If destroyed. you were a young man, actually, let me read this. I just did a Google search right before I made this video. You know, just oh, and Google. Now we know that Google would suppress here, right? information, and they would tell and the truth. And literally, it says every bodybuilding product. products. This is the top. You know what else Google says? Google. Go get bodybuilding vaccine. products that contain selective androgen receptor modulators or SARMs have not been approved by the FDA and are associated with serious safety concerns, including potential to increase the risk of heart attack or stroke and life-threatening reactions like liver damage. And Testosterone doesn't do any of that. Adverse effects and potential benefits among selective uh, androgen receptor wait, modulators. Wait, wait, wait. What does the FDA say about SARMs? Who gives a uh, fuck with the warned FDA? against the use of them, uh, including stating in publicly in a 2017 warning letter that they do all... You know what else the FDA said? Fenthin and Redux were completely safe to be sold to people for weight loss until they killed thousands of people. The FDA did not enlighten us that Fenthin and Redux had already been taken off the market two years before it was approved in the United States. Now, why did they hide that information? So Big Pharma could make all that money and it knew it would make enough money to pay for the deaths that would be caused by the drugs. How do we know this? Just Google that shit. As a matter of fact, don't, don't go that shit. Because I don't know that Google will even allow it anymore. They talk about misinformation. You're being lied to on so many levels and then the truth is being hidden from you. It's not misinformation, it's true information that you shouldn't have to hide information. Let it all go out there. Let people get both sides of the story and then make the most intelligent decision from there. Do you truly believe that the vast majority of people when given every side of the story are going to believe the lie? If you do, then your faith in mankind is a direct reflection of your belief in yourself. And you probably need to pick up a fucking book. All sorts of life threatening, they cause all sorts of life threatening uh, symptomology and reactions, including liver toxicity, they and have the potential to increase the risk of heart attack and stroke. Look. Dude. I don't need to keep going on SARMs. If you are a young man and you watch my channel, and I hope that more and more... I'm going on eight years, seven, eight years. I've been taking SARMs. Or you of you younger guys will because I will be giving you information that can truly help you not just from a body really? but from a mind oh my heart God. and soul perspective my okay? heart and soul it's and send you to the doctor you stop using so that you can die early. you get rid of them and if you are a competitor and you are you already using you know, polypharmacy 256 you know, 497 Seth you. Williams please reach out to the amazing people I'm uh, in Thailand right good. now. You might want to message me on Facebook. Group, which is fullyoptimizedhealth.com. I mean, fully there, there's optimized. so many ways to connect with me to allow For me what goal? to help you. Just to you. live? Okay. To survive? To Again, get by? Join my email list. Join to be a You get all live this well. kind of information for free every single day. But I mean, again, man, you guys... It, it, it's high time. Don't you live with me, bro? How old are you? 2022. There's so much information. There's so many smart people that are telling you, uh, you know, Lies. what to do and what not to do. I realize that there is information overwhelm, and there's a lot of so-called wannabe gurus and experts that are not. But Thank you. It doesn't take much, you know, to read a little bit, to do your own research, to find out that SARMs are not the way to go. You know, again, if you are about performance enhancement, if you are about building muscle and you want to do it in the quickest way possible, a, a, a micro precise dose of therapeutic the testosterone over time, managed uh, yes, so uh, by I can a say clinician I who knows the what they're doing, which is only 5% of doctors, is the ultimate solution. There is nothing else close that is going to compare when it comes to, you know, uh, removing, if not avoiding or eliminating side effects and ultimately using a, you know, adjuvant that can help you in all ways, right? Anabolically, can build muscle, 
increase cognition, increase energy, increase sexual function, strengthen your erections. So, I mean, again, stop the SARMs, you know, it, by the way, if you are a young guy and you're on SARMs, God, I implore you, I beg you, please get a full lab panel done. You can easily I mean, do to this me, with private entity labs shit. or direct labs or discounted labs. And I even have my own J. Campbell professional. at gmail.com, 256-497-049-4 number. The level that you can afford. I have a basic, an intermediate, and advanced Get my information, get his information. Get it from both of us and compare it and see what makes the most logical sense in your life. Stop screwing around with your health. Stop screwing around with jackass. How about that one? And get with the program. Get with what program? The program that's been there for 30 years is still is going to get the same results and it's not going to get you to your goals. I will see you guys very soon. I doubt that. All right. Well, thank you for whoever told me to watch that. I am now officially lost um, brain cells. I think I just got dumber. Um, <laughs> so, no, seriously. Somebody had to address that. Unfortunately, it had to be me. Um, if you have any questions about what I said and the validity of what I said in comparison to what he said, let's go over that. Prove me wrong, and I will make a public address that I was wrong. And then we'll have the right information to give everyone because I'm all about getting better. I don't know it all. Obviously, this fucker thinks he does, but I don't. I'm constantly learning. That's why we deal with research chemicals. That's why we have, we keep up with what everyone, how everyone does, so that we can make sure that the research that comes out is in accordance with what happens, and we try our best to live better, more healthy, enhanced lives, and I know very few people my age that are able to keep up, that are able to put on 20 pounds of muscle in seven days, that was crazy, um, that are able to help people to live better lives with, I mean, just a better quality of life. But, you know what? Take both opinions, mine and people like this, and form your own and decide where you want to be, who you want to be, and which goal is more applicable to your life. So, anyway, love y'all. Newsarms.com.